Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit audio and how to add effects in Audacity. Audacity is a audio editing software. It is free. And if you don't have it, I will be providing the download link in the description. You can download either one of these, but I recommend the beta because you can add plugins to that. And I will be telling you what those are later if you don't already know. So let's open up Audacity. Click the red circle to record. This is a test. All right. Test it to see if you got it all right. Now, select it all. This tool should already be selected, but if it's not, it is right there in the corner. Go to effects. Go to change pitch. Pitch is just pretty much how your voice sounds. Uh, drag the bar up to make it sound higher. It, my audio is bad, so it will sound a lot better on your computer when you do it yourself. You could also bring it down to have a lower voice. Now we go to then you go to Wawa, which it adds kind of an echo effect, but it's more used for instruments, not the ones. See, it didn't really work out too much there. But uh, if you like recording your guitar session or whatever you have. This can add some cool effects. You go to effects and you go to delay. This adds kind of an echo effect. As you can see. See at the end you can kind of hear it. It sounds better on your computer, trust me. Um, you can mix that with a lot of other effects, it would sound better. For instance, uh, G verb. G verb is basically an effect that makes you sound like you're talking into a room. So there are a lot of options, but I'll just stay here. Awesome. See, now you can, there's a lot of ways you can modify it. I'm just undo it. There's a lot of ways you can modify it. Um, basically, the more you put up, uh, put up the bar, the higher, the bigger the room is going to be. So now go to effect and reverse. Now reverse is something that I don't use, but if you're someone that likes finding hidden messages in songs or for what have you. This is kind of your kind of thing. Plain gibberish. Undo that. Go to effects. Change speed. It's pretty self-explanatory. Makes it faster. It changes your pitch too. You can also slow it down. Let's go with 32. Let's go to changing the tempo. It changes the speed of it without changing your pitch. So 
undo that. Go to effect. And let's go to uh, no G snap. Go to G V S. Uh, you are not, you're not going to have this. It's a download or a plugin. Plugin is basically an add-on for Audacity. This specific add-on is for auto-tuning your voice. And if you don't know what that is, uh, in layman's terms, it's making you sound like a robot. Uh, a lot of musicians use it. T-Pain. Um, these are the settings. I'll be posting them in, in the description. There are other auto-tuning add-ons but most of them cost money. This one's free. It's not the best one, but it works. If you like singing or just what have you, this is for you. It makes it sound better and it gives you your own personal flair to it. With just a test like this, it's not going to make a big difference. So you can barely hear that. If you hold out Control and R, it pretty much it repeats the effect that you just did. So I can do that a couple times. Play. So you can kind of hear on that, but still, again, only if you're a singer, you would really want to use that. That is pretty much it. Uh, I will be posting more advanced tutorials uh, later. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get it on. Vi sitter här i vänstern och spelar lite Dota och pushar på speke med motståndet vi leker. Vi sitter här i vänstern och spelar lite Dota och springer runt och creepar och motståndet vi slipar. Vi sitter här.
times 